Hi, Glenn Bischoff, editor in chief of Virgin Communications Magazine at IWCE 2013 in Las Vegas. And I'm speaking with David Deacon, chief executive officer of EtherStack, who's going to talk to us a little bit about a collaboration that his company is involved in with Cisco Systems. David, how did you guys get together in the first place? Uh, Cisco and EtherStack was an obvious partnership. We're both very committed to open standards and uh, interoperability uh, within the industry. Uh, so when Cisco uh, explained to us that they were trying to help solve some of the uh, you know, legacy interoperability issues and some of these new digital radio networks that were isolated, you know, it just seemed obvious uh, to us you know, where we license a lot of technology to different manufacturers to, you know, to, to co collaborate with Cisco to uh, you know, help come up with a good solution. Okay, and the, what are the uh, what were the first steps of this collaboration? Uh, well, you know, taking a look at what, what some of the, the requirements and needs in the market were, and uh, you know, obviously there are a whole range of disparate networks here in in North America. You know, there are some legacy analogs, there's some conventional P25, conventional trunk, some with ISSIs, some without. So, you know, we, we had to take a look at you know all the different ways that we could connect, and Cisco come up with a great solution to, to allow that to happen. Well, now I'm speaking with Kevin McFadden, public safety solutions architect for Cisco Systems. And Kevin, could you give us an overview of the solution that David just mentioned? I'd be happy to. Thank you for uh, taking the time with me. Uh, we've actually got a couple of things that we're showing at the booth today, uh, most of which focus around P25 and our ability to handle some advanced capabilities in that space. Uh, one of the things is ISSI capability and the ability to interact with a direct RFSS of a trunk system, for example, and be able to do direct end-to-end -end P25 as well as uh, support a variety of uh, advanced technologies uh, using open standards SIP communications. So we've actually got our console capability. The console has the direct end-to-end -end P25 options uh, in it. You can see the, the native channels actually have an indication of advanced integration with some of the open standards for P25 in the area of ISSI and actually a specific DFSI, the digital fixation interface. Uh, so in the booth we actually have a P25 trunk system ISSI capable, um, the ability to do full end-to-end -end P25 capabilities between the soft console, some of the other devices, uh, actually a, a very a new product offering in the IP trade, a touchscreen capability, my colleague will actually talk a little bit about that. Uh, and then also the ability to demonstrate this digital fixed station interface, bring it all together, uh, and introduce things like P25 encryption in the example as well. So on console, we have a couple of different resources. Uh, one of the resources is a trunk system, talk group and as you can see when I key up on the, uh, the talk group resource I'll actually be able to uh, be able to talk out on my, uh, my digital device and be able to see that RFSS, talk back in and see it on the console and actually see the new ID information that's coming in. This is a true native P25 capability which we're pretty excited about. Where things get very interesting for us though is we move into the, the, the digital fixed station interface and actually see end-to-end -end P25 encryption in that marriage of the trunk system and the conventional system. So as I look at uh, the tape resource here on the screen, for example, I'll be able to key up on that and uh, demonstrate that I can talk end-to-end -end and see the, the radio ID coming up on the screen. It's very interesting though when I dig into this a little bit more, I actually see the secure audio communication, the AES 256 encryption. In fact, if I show you the portable device, it's pretty exciting as well. We're actually seeing true end-to-end -end AES 256 encryption on the portable device, which is a, a strong indication that we're seeing the market move really into a more interoperable, interoperable technology uh, discussion. We're pretty excited about that. Maybe if I could pause there and turn to my uh, colleague, uh, he'll show you a little bit about the touch screen advancement. Uh, IP turret and trade. Okay, I'm back with Kevin McFadden now, and Kevin, uh, there's a, actually a very exciting thing that we haven't talked about yet, which is the ability to send Project 25 voice over an LTE device. You're going to demonstrate for that for us right now. What is that all about? Exactly. Um, our partnership with EtherStack has given us the ability to expand our mobile client capabilities, and so the core infrastructure that we described a bit earlier in our discussion is going to be expanded. It currently is expanded. We have uh, the client that I'm showing today is a full P25 capable endpoint. It actually registers as a P25 subscriber device. In this case, it actually has the ability to support six simultaneous subscriber sessions, if you will, to different resources. So in this case, I've got a P25 trunk, I've got the conventional Quantar, and even a, a small lightweight uh, conventional uh, device on the other side. And you can see 
as I'm actually talking on the devices, you can see live, I'm getting uh, affiliation with the trunk system. I actually have uh, audio coming through the device and uh, getting uh, all the supplementary services that I would hope to on the P25 system right on the mobile device. Well, thanks very much. We really appreciate the overview and all the time you gave us. Our pleasure, Glenn. Thank you.